In this video, we're going to review divisibility and we're going to go over the different rules for each number for divisibility. So a number is divisible by another number if it can be divided evenly with no remainder. So we have some examples here. 155 is divisible by 5 because 5 can go into 155 evenly. So if we do 155 and divide it by 5, there's not going to be a remainder. 5 can go evenly into 155. So we can say that 155 is divisible by 5. Let's check this next example. 155 is not divisible by 4 because 4 cannot go into 155 evenly. So if we check 155 divided by 4, there's going to be a remainder or a decimal. So since 4 cannot go evenly into 155, we say that it is not divisible. So we use divisibility rules to help us find all the factors of a number. Um, we're going to go over the rules today for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. There are rules for 7 and 8, um, but we are not going to get to those today. So let's start with the rule for 1. All numbers are divisible by 1. So no matter what number you pick, 1 is going to be a factor of that number. 1 is going to evenly go into all numbers. Let's look at the rule for 2. It says, when a number is even, ending in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So basically, any number that ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 will be divisible by 2. Looking at our rule for 5. When a number ends in 0 or 5. So any number ending in 0 or 5 will be divisible by 5. So let's check some examples. We have 138. Is 138 divisible by 2? So what we're going to do is we're going to think about that last number. And we look at our rule. And it says when a number is even, ending in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So since this number ends in an 8, and it's an even number, it is divisible by 2. Looking at the rule for 5, when a number ends in 0 or 5, this does not end in a 0 or 5, so 138 would not be divisible by 5. The next number we're looking at is 240. Looking at the two different rules, 240 is divisible by 2 because it ends in a 0, and 240 is divisible by 5 because it ends in a 0. Here's homework question 1, so go ahead and pause and write down your answer in your notebook and be sure to transfer that to your Google form. The question is, which numbers are divisible by 2? Check all that apply. Okay, so the rules for 3 and 9, the reason why we put 3 and 9 together is because they have a similar rule. We're going to be adding the digits of numbers. So it says, for divisible by 3, when the sum of a number's digits is divisible by 3. So for example, 462. They're going to add all the digits of that number, 4 plus 6 plus 2, and they get 12. Then we ask ourselves, can 3 evenly go into 12? 3 can evenly go into 12 four times, therefore this whole number is divisible by 3. And the rule for 9 is just the same, so we're going to add the sum of the number's digits and see if it's divisible by 9. So here we have the number 5,643. 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 3 is 18. 9 can evenly go into 18, it goes into 18 two times. So therefore, this whole number, 5,643, is divisible by 9. So let's check some examples. Here we have the number 240. Do you think that that number is divisible by 3? Is it divisible by 9? Think about that right now. Let's check. So we're going to add the digits of the number. So 2 plus 4 plus 0. 2 plus 4 plus 0 is 6. So we ask ourselves, 
Can 3 evenly go into 6? Yes, so this number is divisible by 3. Can 9 evenly go into 6? Well, no, because 9 is a bigger number than 6, so 9 cannot go into 6. So 240 is not divisible by 9. Let's look at another number. We have 431. So we're going to add the digits. 4 plus 3 plus 1 is... 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. Can 3 evenly go into 8? No. So this number is not divisible by 3. Can 9 evenly go into 8? No. So this number is not divisible by 9. Let's try another one. Here we have the number 724. Go ahead right now and add those digits in your head and think, can 3 or 9 go into the, add, the addition of those digits? Let's check and see if you are right. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. Hopefully you said that this number is not divisible by 3 and it's not divisible by 9 because 3 and 9 cannot evenly go into 13. Go ahead and pause the video here, read through this question and answer it in your notebook. The question for homework question 2 is, which numbers below are divisible by 3 and 9? Check all that apply. So you're going to go through each number using the rule we just learned and see if both 3 and 9 can go in. Next are the rules for 4 and for 8. So for 4 and 8, let's start with the rule for 4. When a number's last two digits are divisible by 4. So for example, looking at this number, 12,624, what they do is they cut off the last two digits. So they're just looking at that 24. If 4 can evenly go into 24, then this number is divisible by 4. Same thing for 8, except they cut off the last three digits of the number. So here they cut off the 100, 168, the last three digits. And they want to see if 8 can evenly go into 168. So that's kind of tricky to do in our head. So we have this little calculator here. 168 divided by 8. And yes, it can evenly go in 21 times. So this whole number would be divisible by 8. Let's do a sample problem. We have 3,432, and we want to know if that's divisible by 4 and if it's divisible by 8. So just like the rule for 4 says, we're going to chop off the last two numbers here, 32, and can 4 evenly go into 32? Yes, it can. 4 can go into 32 8 times. 32 divided by 4 is 8. So 3,432 is divisible by 4. Now let's check for 8. So for 8, we want to chop off the last three digits. So looking at 432, can 8 evenly go into that? So I'm going to use my calculator again, taking the number 432, dividing that by 8, and we get an even amount of number, 54. So 8 can go into 3,432 evenly. So we would say that 3,432 is divisible by 8. Let's check one more problem. We have 5,212. We're going to chop off the last two numbers and ask ourselves, can 4 go into 12 evenly? Yes, it can. 4 times 3 is 12. So 5,212 is divisible by 4. What about for 8? We need to chop off the last three digits to decide. So we're going to chop off 212, and we're going to use our handy dandy calculator here to check. 212 divided by 8 equals 26.5. So since we have that 0.5, um, 8 does not evenly go into 212. Therefore, we would say that 5,212 is not divisible by 8. 
All right, rule number six. Rule number six says that when a number is divisible by both two and three, it's gonna work for six. So for example, 9,042 is divisible by two and three. So we know that it's divisible by two because it's an even number ending in a two. And to check for three, we would add the digits. Nine plus four is 13. 13 plus two is 15. We know that 15 divided by three is five. So therefore, since this number is divisible by two and three, we would say that it would also work for six. So let's try some examples. Here's the first one, 432. Is this number divisible by two? Yes, it is, because it ends in an even number two. Is this number divisible by three? Let's add the digits. Four plus three is seven. Seven plus two is nine. Can three evenly go into nine? Yes. So since this number is divisible by both two and three, we would say that yes, it is divisible by six. Let's check another example. 506. Is 506 divisible by two? It does end in an even number. It ends in a zero, two, four, six, or eight. So it is divisible by two. Is it divisible by three? Let's add the digits. Five plus zero is five. Five plus six is 11. Can three evenly go into 11? No, it can't. So even though this number is divisible by two, it's not divisible by three, and therefore it cannot be divisible by six. Let's check another example. 714. Is 714 divisible by 2? Yes, it is. It ends in an even number, so 2 can evenly go in. What about for 3? 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Can 3 evenly go into 12? Yes, it can. So since this number is divisible by both 2 and 3, we would say that yes, it is divisible by 6. Here's homework question number three. It says, which numbers are divisible by six? Check all that apply. So you need to go through each number and check to see if these numbers are divisible by six using the rule we just taught you. So the last rule we're gonna talk about is the rule for 10. Before I said that the rule for one, two, and five is the easiest, I might change that and say that the rule for 10 is the easiest. So to decide if something's divisible by 10, the rule is that it has to end in a zero. So 98 would not work because it doesn't end in a zero, but 100 would work. 250 would work. 3,000 would work. Any number that ends in a zero is always going to be divisible by 10. Here's homework question number four. It says, which numbers are divisible by 5 and 10? So you need to think about what the rule is for 5, think about what the rule is for 10, and check each of these numbers to see if they're divisible by 5 and 10. Homework question number 5. Check all the numbers that 330, sorry, let's say that again. Check all the numbers that 31,422 is divisible by. So you're taking this number and you're going through this list and you're checking which of these numbers can evenly go into this number. There may be more than one answer. Last homework question. Check all the numbers that 55,350 is divisible by. So just like homework question five, you're going through these lists of numbers and figuring out which numbers can evenly go into this number. Please make sure that you're showing all of your work for this. If you're using a calculator, we will know because you didn't show your work. So make sure in that blue notebook you're showing us that you are using the rules to figure out if these numbers can evenly go into 55,350. Good luck and we'll see you tomorrow.